The new Wonder Sauce from DAS is an amazing product. It's water-based, so it's very usable in schools and with children. It will give you the experience of doing image transfers that have been printed on an inkjet printer on the DAS clear film. And when you print the image, you will use the premium films and photographic pigment inks. Uh, we do not want to use the matte black inks because during the transfer process with a water-based product, the matte black inks can run. So once you have your image printed, let it dry overnight and then you'll be ready to do a transfer. You want to be very careful not to leave the ink side up in the air where it could gather dust and debris because that will ruin your image. I'm going to be transferring that image to this metal plate that has been aged in Cascade dishwasher detergent in a cooler overnight with uh, near boiling water. The aluminum turns almost black. Uh, if you take it out after an hour it would be a bronze color, but that's another whole project. Apply blue tape rolled backwards to the back side of your plate and place it on a good solid clean surface and press it down. Be careful not to get your fingerprints on the plate. One of the things I do like to do if I have handled the plate a lot or if it has uh, been stored for a while is I will pour a little bit of 91 percent isopropyl alcohol on the plate and wipe it down. This will remove all oils that might have gathered on the plate if it's been sitting around for a good long while. When you do that you might see that some of the uh, tarnish on the aluminum does come off on the rag. Now to get a good transfer you need to do what I call an alignment of your image so that it rolls down onto the uh, substrate very very smoothly. So to do that you're going to take a second plate that's the same size as the one that you've aged and it's going to get placed just about a sixteenth of an inch away from the receiving plate. You're going to tape that down really well so that nothing can slide. If when you're rolling your image down the plate slides you're not going to get a good image. To apply the image to the plate, you use a soft paint roller. The paint roller is not rolled. We don't roll it across like this. It's a mistake a lot of people make. The paint roller is soft and it is used to just push your image down across the uh, plate. Now that I know that that's good and clean and there's no dust on it, I'm going to position my image over the plate and I've made my image a little bit larger uh, than the plate itself and I think I'm going to position it about like that. Now you'll want to have a clear film on both ends and the reason for that is that's going to let you be able to roll this down and have a good edge on your image. I'm going to position that just about like that so there's a little bit of overlap. I had made my image slightly larger than the plate so that I knew that I would go fully off. We'll use blue tape and tape that down to the alignment board and take your paint roller, place it on the left edge and roll the print back. I'm going to show you here first the procedure for sliding this across. The paint roller needs to be wider than the, the receiving plate, of course. You're going to push this, and you notice how I keep the film very horizontal. The roller is pushing this down, and in that pushing motion, at the same time, I'm removing any bubbles that might have happened when I applied the coating. This Testing this will also give me an opportunity to feel this side and see whether or not there's any debris or any pieces of lint or anything that I could feel on there that might damage my transfer. So it seems very good to me. So now, whoop, double check, make sure you haven't got anything on there that you don't want. One last wipe won't hurt. 
The Wonder Sauce is a water-based product. I'm using the white, but it also comes in a clear version. And you can shake this up a little bit because the white pigment can settle to the bottom. Okay, you'll never dip a brush into this jar because to do so would contaminate the liquid and introduce bacteria in grit and stuff that would then ruin future transfers. I use a Gen polyfoam brush to apply the Wonder Sauce to my plates. I like these brushes because they also work in the Super Sauce which has a alcohol base and we can leave the brush in there. So the Gen brush needs to be washed with warm soapy water uh, to get any sizings out of it. By pre-wetting it, you also are able to uh, keep any air bubbles from forming as the Wonder Sauce is absorbed into the brush. So once you wet the brush, squeeze it out in a paper towel, and now you'll, the brush is nice and soft. Pour about a tablespoon of the Wonder Sauce right in the center of the panel, set that aside, and then we're going to spread the Wonder Sauce over the whole plate. There is a component in here that will keep this from evaporating too fast. Now you'll notice that this is very stringy, and it's that stringy quality that allows the image to be pulled off of the premium DOS film. So you want to spread this very nicely smoothly across. If you see uh, air bubbles in the surface, it's important to remember that as you're starting to roll it down because you'll want to give a little bit of extra pressure when you apply the film so that the uh, roller smooths out the bubbles. Notice how I go around. You don't go back and forth like this because you're going to pick up that stringy stuff and drag it back across. You go off and around, off and around, and around. And keep doing that until you get a nice, smooth, glassy looking surface. This white is not 100% opaque, so you do get this beautiful, soft finish to the print. Now I do see some bubbles in there, but those are okay because as I roll this down, I'm going to be putting enough pressure on it that it's going to push those out. So a nice, even, smooth pressure all the way across. Don't let this flop down at the end. Hang on to it until you get all the way off. And we're going to count to 60 seconds now and then remove the film. This is a one minute little hourglass. If you leave it on any longer, it's likely not to pull off. So when our minute is up, then remove the tape. Make sure as you're removing the tape that that time is counted in that one minute. Our time is up. Now begin by just folding back the corner a little bit, make sure that everything is sticking before you go pulling it off completely. Okay, I'm pulling this off. It's beautiful. Looks like a perfect transfer. As this comes off, you're going to see that the emulsion from the film is sticking to the surface and it looks really irregular and kind of uh, all like gummy-like on the surface. Don't worry about that because we're going to wash that off. Now, you notice I pulled this off fairly horizontally. If you were to pull this up straight up, you're going to pull the image off of your plate. So be very careful about how you pull this off. You can see that it was a perfect transfer. All of the image has come off of the film. Take about two minutes with a hair dryer and dry the surface. You'll see some shiny spots and dull spots. Don't worry about that. The shiny spots are the emulsion that is now laying on top of the image. That's going to be washed off in the next step.
Now, for those of you who miss rocking your prints in a dark room, this is the next step we do with this print. Uh, it's totally dry. I use a hair dryer on it for about two minutes. This is cool water in here. And this is going to soak in the cool water. And what this is going to do, it's going to dissolve the emulsion that moved with the film. Um, we're going to rock this for a minute, maybe two minutes. What this will do, it will loosen the emulsion that is on top, and I call this desliming. This desliming will uh, make the image be very flat and even in its uh, gloss on the surface, or lack of gloss. As this is beginning to dissolve, if you watch it carefully, you'll start to see, let me lift this up, start to see that emulsion loosen from the surface. So I'll put this back in. Just keep rocking it. You'll start to see this slime come to the surface. Let me pick it up again and show you. There's a slime. It's on this, this side of it over here. You can see it's slipping across. You want to get that off of here completely. This just takes a couple of minutes. I'll let this settle now and I think you can really see where the slime is here up on the surface. And it's like, it's, it's a skin. Let me see if I can pick this up. This is what's coming off. That's that extra inkjet emulsion on the surface of the uh, premium film. And it's because of that that the water-based transfer works. Now if you have access to a sink when this is done, I think it's getting pretty much there now, when this is done you'll take it over to a sink and do a final rinse again with cool water to make sure all of it has come off. Sometimes it likes to stick in one spot or another. That looks pretty good. This is our final image. I washed it for another two minutes under cool running water in the sink to get the remaining uh, emulsion off of it. There is that second layer of emulsion that is not a skin and while you're washing it, if you touch it ever so lightly, don't rub it, just touch it, you'll be able to feel when that slime is gone. Usually takes a minute or two on something this uh, size and then dry it with a hair dryer again. But this is the finished Wonder Sauce White Transfer on Blackened Aluminum.